So what's going on ladies and gents, welcome back to the channel for Can You Believe the 100th Vlog. I definitely didn't see myself getting this far, well starting vlogging in general because I originally bought a PC to start streaming, so to get into gaming, stream FIFA and I originally bought a camera to get into photography but then one day I just decided to to vlog my training day and then it all took off from there really, got the GoPro, I think no, got this camera photography then I bought a GoPro before Vegas and then when I got back from Vegas I think that's when I decided to get into filming and vlogging because I loved filming stuff in Vegas but on the day again not much I can change at the minute for intros to vlogs it all pretty much seems the same bit of deja vu pretty much same clothes same room it's gonna be like that for a little while until Martin's leg gets better going just hugging this mug of coffee Speaking of buying PCs, I finally bit the bullet and bought the new laptop, which I just got a message saying it's out for delivery now between half nine and half ten. So I'm going to try and arrange for someone to go there and be there to, I don't know, get it for me because I don't want to rearrange for tomorrow because I'm in all day tomorrow. But I'm going to half ten today, so I was hoping it'd be later on. But you know, as always, to deliver it when you're not in. But that's the plan for today. Obviously, wait till half ten. Hopefully, have the laptop be delivered. But going in, upgrade session, show you the laptop, and then chill for the evening. And I'll hopefully, sign up for High Rocks Birmingham with Kelly. I've been said I'm going to have breakfast. I've had my CBD oil, the 20.25 mil. Get yeah, hit them up. It's it's only been less than a week, and I already feel it working less anxiety less brain fog definitely feeling more just focused and productive so link in the description below discount codes all that jazz so yeah let's get on with the day so i'm sure i've been feeling pretty sore since sunday night monday morning traps and shorts felt very tight i don't know what that was my shorts and chaps have been feeling very tight since Sunday night, Monday morning. That's probably because I was just lazy on Sunday, just sitting all starched and hunched over all day Sunday, a very lazy day. And then I was thinking, what, what to keep them sore today? And then I remembered I did 150 burpees on Monday, so it's probably that. So CBDs help with focus, but definitely not my memory. And then we are two and a half kilos up on last week, so we're going for 95. But we're going to go for four sets of six, so we're still dropping sets, just like with squats and bench, and with squats and deadlift. So let's get into these and hope the show will survive all four sets. You must notice I'm going without wrist straps this week, which was by choice as my wrists were feeling quite strong. I think I'll put that down to all the burpees, which have been stretching and strengthening the wrists. Uh, no surprise, there was my chest that started to feel the fatigue almost straight away from those burpees on Monday. But despite that, all four sets moved pretty well. I feel the banded bench is definitely starting to have some carry over to these bench sessions. Decided to mix things up for today's rail work and to go for the seated machine rail instead, just because the shows, again, I feel 100%. Joints not feeling great, it could be we do a deload or could just be fatigued, tired, just not getting enough sleep this week because I've been out early all week. But again, you shouldn't be afraid to add a machine work to your training as you've got hypertrophy. You want, to, you want to choose the best exercise that's going to get the best results. For example, you want to go to quads. Squats are good. Neck is better. Leg extensions are the best because they really isolate the muscle. And actually, with these, I'm using lighter weight, but I'm feeling much more in my back. Again, going for double volume than the pressing. So. Four sets of 10 to 12, actually four sets to 12 today because this is lighter but feeling much better. And then onto the usual machine dips. I've said it before and I'll say it again, that dip machine is probably my favourite machine in the gym besides the vending machine. I just feel it really locks me into position, keeps stress on my shoulders and just really puts all attention on the triceps, this is what you want. And definitely, I've noticed a bit of size increase in my arms. I'm not sure if it's because of that or it's because of all the curls I've been doing. Speaking of, there's no machine that can quite beat good old fashioned barbell curls, which is going to be a staple, have been a staple for many weeks. I'm not sure if it's, but there are a few technique tips I thought I'd go over because I've even performed these 
long quite a bit. So let's get into those. Before it ever so slightly, this is me performing a slight front raise as the biceps are partially involved in that movement as well. To keep a lot of tension on the bicep, as I curl, I'm thinking about rotating my hands out and curling up with my little fingers, which helps limit the involvement of the forearms, keeping the majority of the work done by the biceps. You could also let your wrist extend back at the top of the rep to further limit the forearms, but may find that a bit uncomfortable on the wrists. So yeah, that's how I perform my barbell curl to squeeze, no pun intended, the most out of the bicep curl movement. Then finished up with some seated single arm machine lat raises, which cause minimal discomfort, so this may be swapped in for dumbbells. Here we are, ladies and gents, the moment I've been waiting for ever since I pressed the checkout yesterday morning. To be fair, the delivery is very fast. And that's the opening of my brand new laptop, or from a place called Tech Shop here in the UK. And actually, the one I've ordered, one I've ordered, is more powerful than the one that the configuration I made from the actual company and uh, getting it to the next day even with discounts was still cheaper than that or way much cheaper. It's actually got hundred pound more than what I configured but if I configured the same specs it would have been about another two or three hundred so I've definitely saved money there. I just need to be careful with this knife. Famous last words. Here we are, box within a box. Now time to actually open the proper laptop. Which... That's the box. We're getting there. This is yet, yet another box. Guess in here is the charger cables. And here we are, the final reveal of the Yoga Slim Pro 9i. Well, it's only the Slim Pro in the US, but it looks very really fancy. That's in there, just the instruction manual. But here we are, went for the 16 inch, got a mini LED screen, i9 processor, and an NVIDIA 4060 graphics card and 32 gigs of RAM. And if I can open it. And here we are, look at this beast of a machine. Let's bring you over as I actually open this bad boy up. Okay, I should open these with one hand. Oh, and there we are. Look at that. Hopefully it's got power. Otherwise, I hope yeah, it's turning on. This is a very exciting. It's been a while since I've actually treated myself to a new laptop. I mean, I love this is because of the specs. Uh, it's actually more powerful than my PC upstairs, which I'll be using at home. I'm going to be using this for when I'm away at work and obviously when I'm planning on traveling, which is what I'm planning on doing this year. So we'll get this all set up and then I will show you all when it's up and running. Just when I think things are going well, things start going wrong. I'm not sure I should be making this noise being brand new and just turned on. I don't know if you can hear that. I believe that is the, the fan, so I'm going to do a bit of Googling, get in, get in touch with who I bought it from and then see what the issue is there and unfortunately I need to send it back. Go on. Technology, oh, I can't even see myself, but technology seems to be winning the battle today. First, that top has been sent back. What's well, being sent back 
he sent me a, 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 a test, some sort of test, I forgot what it's called, like a CPU test, just to test it for you, see if that could like sort of kickstart the fans to make them then work at high usage, but that did nothing. Literally, as soon as I started that test, the fan noise came back, that clicking noise. So it's being sent back tomorrow. I didn't have time to rush and get it sent back today, which is frustrating, but I wonder, I'm probably not going to get it back until probably next week. I hope they just send out a replacement, which I've asked for. I didn't open the charger, even though it died during testing, because obviously you just want to keep it on the packaging. And then now this GoPro, the sound went again as I was trying to record a clip and I had to undo that and now the, it won't stay fully on this tripod so that's just going wonky and now I cannot see because of this light in my eyes. So I'm going to finish walking with Odin, hopefully keep an eye on him even though I cannot see him behind this light. He is over there somewhere, I don't know if you can see him at all as a reflector. There he is. Um, yeah, going to head back, Kelly's on the way so we're going to have a chill evening, sign up for High Rocks Double, she's keen for that so two comps in the space of three weeks will be fun or two weeks so yeah if you enjoyed this video hit the like button if you're on no smash subscribe to notifications all that jazz try and keep up an eye for odin and i'll catch you on the next one where we are going for a football session and then in the evening i'm off for a quiz which i'm going to try and vlog an office themed night out a place where i can't be first in liverpool so keep an eye for that and i'll see you there peace